What's going on everybody, sports expert here. We have some more breaking news in college football. We have another coaching firing. We'll also talk about some transfer portal notes in this video as well. So before we start the video, please hit the subscribe if you're new to the channel, turn on the post notification bell, like the video, comment what you think, especially if you're a big college football fan. We do college football content every single day on this channel and would appreciate it if you guys tuned in. We're gonna have a lot of news. We have a lot of notes that might be hidden, but you know, we'll talk about it on here. So yeah, would appreciate that everybody. And help us in the algorithm by liking and commenting and help people and other people around find what they want. So yeah, let's go. But appreciate that very much, guys. But Middle Tennessee, they have made a coaching change. They are firing head coach Rick Stocksdale after 18 seasons. So he started out at Middle Tennessee State at, um, after being the tight ends coach of South Carolina. He was promoted to be their head coach in 2006, and he was their head coach ever since then. But this year they went four and eight. It felt like there was a bit of a trend of Middle Tennessee just underperforming and they missed out in another bowl game and he's out. So after 18 seasons, he's out. I was actually thinking about this a couple days ago. I didn't know if they would actually get rid of Stockstill because he's been there for so long, but they've made the move after 18 seasons and just not enough this season with Nicholas Badiano, the quarterback, as I expected more. So yeah. Stock still is out, and do I think it's the right move? I do think it is the right move overall. I just didn't think there was a possibility it was going to happen. I thought Middle Tennessee was just a legion to this guy until his retirement, but no. And they even announced it's a firing. This is not a mutual parting anyway. In any way, this is a clear-cut firing by Middle Tennessee. So Stock still, he's done. He will be done at Middle Tennessee. Maybe he retires now. Maybe he joins Middle Tennessee as some like assistant or maybe like an assistant athletic director type, but because he's been there for so long, but he's done now. 18 seasons and he's cut and it just wasn't enough. Unacceptable for an eight. Probably should have had a much better season. Lost some guys to the portal, but at the same time, they had expectations to do better in the conference USA, a pretty weak conference and they just weren't able to do it. So he is out of Middle Tennessee State and that's just what it is. For candidates for Middle Tennessee State, I don't know. That's really tough. Maybe they go with somebody that was on Stockstill staff. Um, I don't know. Maybe they'll look at some FCS head coaches. It's really tough. That that's not a job that a lot of people are gonna want. It's it's just not it's not a terrible job. But it's not a great job. It's just it's very hard to identify who could be candidates for that job. Maybe some. I don't know, Kirby Moore. I don't know. Just throwing names out there. Like an offensive coordinator at a team that maybe you're looking for a head coaching opportunity. I don't know. But yeah, it just didn't work out in Middle Tennessee. And yeah. So, but we do have some transfer portal fights I want to talk about. So, a few quarterbacks that have entered the transfer portal Max Johnson from Texas AM. He entered after the firing of Jimbo Fisher. And he started a few games after the injury to Connor Wegman. And he got injured. He was all right, not, not special, but he'll be he'll have a lot of interest in Power Five programs. Ken Seals, the former Vanderbilt starter, he's entered the portal. Didn't play well in 2021. Will start to play better this season in place of AJ Swan, but he is gone. Brendan Sorsby, the starting quarterback at Indiana, he's entering the transfer portal. I've seen some rumblings that Cincinnati could be in the running for him. So looking at that, that could be interesting, given they do need a quarterback as Emory Jones just wasn't fitting this year. Could be a big addition for Scott Satterfield if he's able to get Soresby. Even Michigan could be in the running for him as long as J.J. McCarthy goes to the NFL. So Soresby is going to have a lot of options. A very talented individual at Indiana. Didn't get enough of a chance. It felt like they went with Taven Jackson most of the season, but he played pretty well overall. So, yeah. Donovan McCulley, we actually just got some breaking news. Just got to note that Donovan McCulley is also entering the transfer portal from Indiana. He's at a wide receiver right now, but he was a former quarterback in Indiana under Tom Allen as well, but switched to wide receiver over these past couple seasons. So that's another one. Dexter Williams entered the transfer portal for quarterback, started one game for them, I believe, and that was versus Ohio State last year. So he's in the portal. You had a lot of guys enter the portal. Carter, the offensive lineman for Memphis, he's in the portal. So there's a lot of guys out there. Max Brosmer from New Hampshire, he's in the portal. Matt Sluka from Holy Cross. Max Brosmer, the starting quarterback for New Hampshire, all colonial, two-time all colonial. Apparently Minnesota is a possible destination for him for source. So just about two days ago, it was reported that Minnesota could be an option for Max Brosmer who entered the portal from New Hampshire. So that's interesting. So looking at it, that could be an option there. So yeah. But a lot of guys entered the transfer portal and a lot of intriguing names. So that's what we got right there for college football. And yeah, I appreciate everyone being your sports expert here. Once again, please subscribe to the channel. 
Turn on the post notification bell, like the video, comment what you think. I'm out guys, Sports Expert here, peace.